Yeah, greetings from KS Rangaswamy College of Technology, Tirchangodu. Myself, you, a assistant professor. So today, I have take the subject composite materials. It is the module name is mechanics. Material properties and some basics of the second module. Different types of material properties will be there in the composites. One is the isotropic, anisotropic, homogeneous and non-homogeneous. So isotropic means at a point the properties are same in the all the direction. Example like that steel and anisotropic it is a, at a point its properties are different in the all the direction. Example wood. The homogeneous is at all point properties that are same in the body and non-homogeneous is the properties that are function of the position on the body. These are the major properties of the material. So lamina and laminate. A yeah, lamina is also called as a plier layer. It is a single flat layer of a unidirectional fiber or woven fiber arranged in the matrix. It is the thickness of the lamina is 0.125 mm. So example, it is a single layer. It is called as lamina. Layer by layer is called as laminate. Example, see the image. It is a one lamina is in 0 degree. It is another one layer is for, for 45 degree. Another lamina for the minus 45 degree. So layer by layer will be different from the different angles. So finally, we can measure this one. It is called as laminate. The laminate is a stack of plies of composite. Each layer can be allied at various orientation and uh, can be made up of different material system. So example, see the image. The matrix metal in this side. This is the fiber cross section. So this is for the sandwich panel of the composite. The basic schematic analysis of the laminated composites is basically in the two things. One is the fiber and the matrix. You can take the any type of fiber, for example, like that glass fiber or natural fiber. You can take it and matrix also from the epoxy or polyester, any type of resin will be taken from the, this one. So first step is uh, micro mechanics of the lamina. We can insert the fiber and matrix in the one plate. And the second step is macro mechanics of the lamina and a homogeneous orthographic layer. This is the third one. And the last one is for the analysis and the design laminated structure. So finally, we get, got from the structural element of the composite. And the fiber volume fraction and the matrix volume fraction, it is a major important in the any type of fiber is very neat for the volume fraction. The fiber content and density and void content, the formula is we are using the Vf equal to Wf and by sigma uh, rho f divided by w f under rho f plus w m under rho m. Here the mean of the w f means for fiber weight fraction of the material and w m for matrix weight fraction. So it is equal to the 1 minus of w f. The rho f for the fiber density and rho m for matrix density. So this is the major formula. This can, we can simplify, we can come from the matrix of the density. Composite density is equal to for the density of the fiber plus density of the matrix. So this is for the final formula of the fiber content and the density of the volume content. So Vf for the fiber volume fraction, Vm for matrix, uh, matrix volume fraction. So V V equal to volume fraction of the void. Rho C for the theoretical density. So we have to calculate for the theoretical formula for rho C is a theoretical one. And the where purely rho is called as actual density of the poly. So this is for the stem for volume fraction of the composite density, the final shape. Next one is important for the rule of mixture. It is the rule of mixture is mainly depends for the and what is the major content in the fiber and the matrix. We can to calculate it for the density of the composite. So the uh, Fm rho m plus ff and rho f this is the major formula for the thermal conductivity and the electrical conductivity here the sigma is donated as per the stress of the composites so stress of the composite equal to fm and the rho m e plus ff and rho f this is for the electrical conductivity of the rule of mixture 
So why you are using the rule of mixture in the fiber, uh, composite material? It is a composite material with a metal matrix and a ceramic fiber. The bulk of the energy would be transferred through the matrix. In the composite consists of the polymer matrix containing metallic fiber of the energy would be transferred through the fiber. For example, you can take the metal fiber polymer matrix composite, the electrical conductivity would be low and could depends on the length of the fibers. The volume fraction of the fiber and how it's obtained the fiber in, in touch onto another. I example to see the image for the find the volume, finding the volume fraction of the composite specimen in the in the nitric assay in Vf equal to WEF divided by rho F divided by Wc and rho C. So this is the calculation of the determine the mass of the fiber and after as it the path. Here is a four modulus of velocity used in the composite material. First one is the longitudinal length modulus is denoted as a E1. Second one is a transverse length modulus is denoted as a E2. Third one is a major Poisson ratio is B12. In planar shear stress is modulus is G12. This is the four types of modeling using in the laminate. The first one is for the E1 long to length modulus. So this is the uh, laminated shape of the composite. Uh, here is a sigma C and a sigma. So this is for the compression force will be acting on the material. Next one is the in plane shear stress. So similarly, we can do divided into three things of the thickness of the composites. For the center mediate point is for the thickness of the fiber. We have to see the basic formula to calculate the uh, volume fraction of the composite. So to determine the density of the glass and epoxy lamina consists of 70 percentage of fiber volume fraction. The density of the fiber is 2500 kg per meter cube but the matrix is 1200 kg per meter cube. So also determine the mass fraction of the fiber and volume and the matrix. The rho F equal to 2500 kg per meter cube, rho M equal to 1200 kg per meter cube and volume is fraction is 70 percentage. So these are the three data will be given in the problem. Next we have to find the three things. One is the density of the composite, mass fraction of the fiber under a matrix collision. First you calculate the density of the composites. So rho Z equal to rho F and V F plus rho M into V M. So it is a here, here it stands for V F for volume fraction for the fiber, volume fra fraction of the matrix for Vm. So Vf plus Vm equal to 1. We got to consider the equal to 1. So finally substituting the value, finally we got the density of the composite values is 2110 kg per meter cube. So this is for the first sheet we can find the data. Second we can similarly we can using the mass fraction and fiber and matrix. The formula is already we can given Wf equal to rho f and a row divided by rho c and a vf. So substituting similarly you can find the value. First you can get from the wf equal to answer is 0 0.8294 and similarly you can calculate the weight of the matrix is 0 0.1706. So finally concluded of the, this problem I uh, get got the density of the composite and the weight of the fiber weight of the matrix is weight of the fiber is which will be more compared with the weight of the matrix. So fiber is a, uh, is a load carrying member and a matrix is a load transfer medium. Next is similar problem to find the longitudinal length modulus and the transverse length modulus. The problem for the unidirectional glassy and epoxy lamina <coughs> with of a 70 percentage of fiber volume fraction, find the following of the three things we got to calculate. One is the longitudinal length modulus and the transverse length modulus and the major and the Poisson ratio, major and minor Poisson ratio of the fiber. So E of for length modulus of the fiber is 85 gigapascal and the Poisson ratio of the fiber is 0 0.2. Epoxy matrix equal to EM equal to 3.4 gigapascal and similarly Poisson ratio of the matrix is 0 0.3. So here the matrix poison ratio will be high compared with the uh, uh, poison ratio of the fiber. So we can do first we can calculate the longitudinal length modulus. It is denoted as a E1 equal to EF and VF plus EM and VM. So substituting the answer, finally we got the E1. 
long run length modulus value is 60.52 gigapascal similarly you can calculate the transverse length modulus it is also the formula 1 by e2 equal to vf divided by e, ef plus vm divided by em so finally the answer is e2 equal to 10.37 gigapascal so compared to the transverse length modulus long run length modulus values will be high so the rule is right Similarly, you can calculate the major and Poisson, minor Poisson ratio. Major Poisson ratio of the fiber is V12 equal to Vf and Vf plus Vm into Vm. So, here 0 0.2 and 0 0.7 plus 0 0.3 into 0 0.3. So, finally, V12 of the major Poisson ratio of the fiber is 0 0.230. This is the final answer. Next, you can calculate the influence shear stress. Of the solution, the major formula we are using the GF equal to EF divided by 2 of 1 plus VF. So, substituting the value, you can calculate for the influence here modulus is GF 35.42 gigapascal. Thanks for watching this video. Keep learning and proving. Thank you.